Hey, how's it going everybody? Cypher here. Today, I'm going to be helping you guys get better at Rocket League. Now, if you guys are actually questioning the legitimacy of these tips, all this advice comes from a grand champ. So I can assure you that all of the tips and advice that I'm going to give you guys today will be sufficient and uh, will actually help you guys out a lot in getting better. And if you guys are curious who it actually comes from, it comes from our CEO, Jagged. And you guys can go ahead and look up his stats if you want to make sure he is a grand champ, if you don't believe me. But before we get into it, if you guys could hit that subscribe button, because we're so close to 3000 subscribers. And if you guys could help us reach that, it would mean the world to us. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the tips. So the first tip that we need to go over is your mechanics. If you're new to the game, the best thing to do is to go into free play and just work on car and your ball control. How you can do this is by practicing some techniques called pops and flicks. A pop is basically getting the ball on top of the center of your car and jumping twice, as you can see here. They're quite easy and if you can get this ball and car control down, you'll improve as a player a lot quicker. It may take some time, but within a few hours of practice, you should be able to do it consistently 100% of the time. Now, flicks are kind of harder. They're almost the same thing. You still put the ball on top center of your car, but instead of actually double jumping, you jump and flip forward straight afterwards. And here's some clips of that so you guys can know what's going on. Learning these two simple mechanics will make you a much better Rocket League player and it will help you achieve a higher rank a lot faster because these are the most basic techniques that you can do and don't underestimate them because they are basic because they're still really helpful a lot of circumstances when it comes to that higher elo also. And not to mention these basic skills will help you get the car control you need for the next tip and the next tip is actually going to be aerials. Now doing aerials at lower range shouldn't be used as often but in case you need to actually use it you should know how. The best way is to go into aerial training on rookie mode and just practice what is called double jump aerials until you're comfortable of actually doing the drills and getting it down. And if you guys are wondering here's an example of a double jump aerial. And if you aren't quite able to do double jump aerials, start with the single jump aerials. Uh, if you're wondering what those are, here's a little example clip of that also. And with that being said, that concludes the basics of mechanics. Now let's move on to rotations. Now, as you reach higher ranks, rotations become a lot more complicated. It comes with game time, but at lower ranks, if you're trying to rotate properly and you find yourself in the situation of should I go or should my teammate go, then a good rule to always follow is if there's a teammate in front of you going for it, let him go for it. Because if you both try to go for it or you don't really know what to do and he sees you going for it too, it just causes a lot of confusion. This is kind of where coordination comes into play. The higher elo that you climb, the players will be able to coordinate with you better as you get better and you play against better opponents and things like that. And once you actually see him going for it, after his hit, you go for yours. Then rotate away from the ball behind your teammates. And if that is a lot to uh, take in, here's a couple example clips. To uh, just show you guys what it looks like in game. Now, I know a lot of this can be kind of confusing if you're really new to the game or if you're just getting into it. But hopefully these example clips can really help you guys understand uh, what I'm actually talking about when I uh, explain to you guys all of these techniques and, and whatnot. And I have one more tip for you guys and in my opinion this is going to be the most important tip because because this is what's going to separate you from the average mediocre and the best of the best and that is just going to be how much you actually play the game. Now you gotta be real with yourself. Are you putting in the hours? Are you putting in the grind? Are you trying to actually improve? Or do you just like the thought of improving? Because most people, they want to get good and they want to be really good at the game, but they don't want to put the work in that actually requires to being better. And that's basically just putting in the hours. Every day you get on, you practice, you practice the techniques that I explained to you and gave you tips on, and you're just constantly looking how to improve. And really, all it comes down to is putting in the hours. If you put in the hours and you're self-aware of what you need to improve on, you're going to get better. I promise. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if it helps you guys out in the comment section below. 
And if you guys have any questions on anything at all, if you guys have any questions on some of these tips about Rocket League, about another game, or just anything in general, I try to reply to every single comment as possible. And we also recently got channel memberships too for Kinetics. So if you guys want to help really support us, that is a major way that you can actually show us some of your love because that money that we receive from you goes back into the community and it just allows us to do more and it allows us to make Kinetics bigger and better. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.